Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rent and Chair, smoking the Lucky Strike cigarette and solving the world's problems. So as I often do, uh, I curse God for the day I wake up and the day I was born because I'm in chronic pain. And then I realize that, you know, I have to be an adult today and go shower and shave and do things and activities and other unpleasantness. And while I do that, I usually put something on while I'm uh, in the shower, washing the corn sweats off me from God knows how much I drank last night. Although I'm not hung over shorts, so there's a bonus. And hey, if you're hung over shorts too, no judgment, dude. It's fucking Friday. Sort your shit out, smoke your lucky strike, get a bacon sandwich, and uh, found enough caffeine to kill an elephant. You'd be alright. So, this is an interesting rant. Uh, I've heard people talk about what's called a bedside gun. Now, what is a bedside gun? Obviously, you, the viewer at home, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, you may have a big floppy purple vibrator in the desk drawer uh, by your bedside table, or a pair of glasses, or, you know, an ashtray because you smoke, or whatever else. Uh, you should probably have a gun by your bed. And I'm going to tell you why. So when I was a young man, uh, I got into all sorts of trouble. <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise. Nobody here is fucking shocked by any of this. But I had this thing for liberal girls, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Yes, I know hippie chicks. You know, they, they need a shower and, you know, wash the dope smoke off them and fucking, you know, leave them in there with your razor and some Barbasol and tell them to shave up that pussy. Because we want a wet pussy sandwich for breakfast, and, you know, life's good. So, you know, you're on the job with your old lady. She's wrapped her legs around you, and you're going to town, and, you know, having yourself a great time, you know, thinking about your nothingness and the empty void that you're filling up with your creamy, creamy mayonnaise sauce. And uh, you hear some cocksucker breaking into your truck. What do you do? Well, they tell you, oh, stay put, call 911, barricade the door, everything else. That's horse shit. I'm going to tell you why. If I had done that, my, my vehicle would have been stolen, okay? Or my house would have been broken into, or my door would have been kicked in. What you do is you uh, police up your dick, uh, you know, scream, drop your cocks and grab your socks, light a cigarette, grab your magnum that you keep in the dresser drawer because, you know, not always... Uh, it's under the pillow. I mean, yeah, it used to be, but, you know, liberal girls, you know, they, they do get upset about having a hand cannon under the pillow that you throw over their face. And, of course, when they feel the cold steel, blued steel or stainless, you know, your, your flavor of choice here. What the hell? This is my mythical paradise that I live in uh, here on YouTube, and we're going to have a rant about revolver hood because, you know, it's just a way to do things. You know, you call out to your family. You say, don't move. Stay Put. And, of course, they're concerned because you've just kicked a hole in the door. I'm bursting out of there with a lit lucky strike and uh, covered in your old lady's creamy sauce. And uh, you proceed to start busting rounds off the people breaking into your truck. And, and wouldn't you know it, by the time the police get there, which is about 37 and a half seconds because the whole neighborhood's concerned, you're lighting rounds off with your 44 Magnum. And Mrs. Gordon sees your weenie tattoo. And, of course, you got some explaining to do about that. Who doesn't, right? Would you believe that people just stop their ignorance and their fuckery real fast? They just, they don't want to stick around and have a gunfight with a naked man. I know what you're saying. Why is Joe always naked? Well, because Joe was a little bit of a bastard growing up. Uh, he had a thing for single moms and divorcees and hippie girls and basically anything that felt nice on the inside. You know, life's problems, right? We deal with them. Well, what's the point of all this? Uh, there's two ways to do this, right? They tell you stay put, don't move, find cover, call the police, stay in your room, you know, all this shit. But at the end of the day, I want you to think about something Clint Smith said. Yes, I know he's an old FUD that thinks that pistol braces are stocks and you should have to pay a transfer stamp for him, but it's just, it's just yeah, he's crotchety old man, what the fuck are you going to do, so am I. 
I want you to think about this. You hear a bump in the night. You don't know if it's a medical emergency, a fire, if, if some drunk person's hopping around like Easter Bunny and taking a crap in your dresser drawer and eating your Oreos. Or if it's some crazy person with a boner waving a butcher knife around that's out of their head on fucking psych meds that they're not supposed to be on, right? How much is it worth to you knowing that your family is on the other side of the wall and that somewhere between you and them is a crazy fuckhead that, that's just got no business being there? And you've got to write a nice police officer a check to go down the hallway and figure out life's problems that way. You know, Sergeant Stadenko would do it because he's got nothing left to lose. He's two weeks out from retirement, and quite frankly, he enjoys the fight. But your average officer friendly, uh, they're going to ask you a bunch of questions. Why is the dead person, you know, full more holes in the asshole day parade? Why would you do such things? And you're going to have to answer those questions, whether your sober shorts are mildly buzzed, because let's face it, in the nighttime, infidels have cocktails. How much is that dollar amount on that check worth to you? What would you give for your family? Would you run headfirst into the breach, the lucky strike and your weenie tattoo, and a large 44 Magnum, or would you barricade in place? I can't answer that for you. You have to answer that for you. And, uh, as always, if you don't like what the man who, uh, feels like stabbing social workers has to say about Lucky Strike's maturity, weenie tattoos, liberal girls, and, uh, hand cannons, and, uh, how it's a dangerous combination, and you still enjoy it, then you need my fucking shorts. And as always, have a wonderful rain-filled Friday afternoon. And, uh, until we meet again, I'll leave you with the immortal words that crime pays a botany doesn't. And just have a wonderful day. Go fuck yourself and bye.